Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, the cares away, Christmas is here. We start off the record with Carol of the Bells. Now, hilariously, uh, Matthew and I were in the studio listening to the Home Alone soundtrack. Every single tiny part, Matt and I basically would sing the part eight times and you just like double it and double it and double it. And we built a huge choir um, of parts. So you'd learn the, you know, the ding dong, ding dong. Then you sort of build up each part and it definitely took a lot of time, but it was worth it. Then we go straight into Only Santa Knows, which is the original and um, gonna be a part of our, our new Christmas uh, playlist. And then we go into Little Drummer Boy, which has been one of my favorite songs my entire life. It's just that kind of the, the building of every key change that happens. The start of the record feels quite triumphant, um, you know, to give that kind of strength to people. But then we switch into the beauty of Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, which was directed by the beautiful Chong Lim and arranged. And it was, you know, oh my God, the day of strings, getting to be at the studios and just, you know, hear an entire orchestra play these songs is, is, is magnificent. We know we associate Christmas with that beautiful sound. So then we get a little bit of fun with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which I chose to listen to different versions and pick a bit of the 50s vibe of the, you know, dasher and dancer, da 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 da. Then we pick up and we've got a bit more energy. It gets a little bit sort of, um, we just have fun with it. Then we kind of head into River, which is a different choice because not many people think about River by Joni Mitchell as a Christmas song. But to me, I discovered that song this year and she starts the song with kind of a, an ode to Jingle Bells. With this. So when I was playing piano, it's got that Jingle Bell, da, 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 da. And we um, really need into the string arrangement and the piano and the vocal. Then I kind of arc into Rock Around the Christmas Tree. Um, this song was all about the kind of an ode to say even the new music like Paralyzed. It has a slap back on the vocal and it has that kind of um, swinging jive bunny feel to it. So, you know, I kind of did a lot of the BBs there to make it sound like they were kind of doo-wops in the background. Great guitar lines. Then from Rockin' Around we go to White Christmas. Now I chose to kind of get a little bit more um, gospel choir, electric guitars. White Christmas is the number one bought Christmas song of all time. So I thought, well, it makes sense. We should put that in there. All I want for Christmas, I think a second, that the Bill Crosby version of White Christmas is the most successful Christmas song. Um, then I head into Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Pretty straightforward, kept it pretty um, original. Um, got a bit huskier in it. Deck the Halls, which I kept quite traditional and it's got a um, piano feature and I decided to start that with the choir quite a cappella. This was one of the first songs I actually sat down at the piano and thought, actually, I, I feel like this is quite a my style that I could really uh, put my own uh, fingerprints on, so to speak. Silent Night is a really special track on the record. Um, the incredible Gurumul, who I was so fortunate to sing with in about 2012 or 13, we had done Baini um, on The Voice and we had then had a beautiful connection and sung at the Opera House together at his shows and popped up and just, just had a, a lovely connection with um, soulful music and the way he would sing and the way that I would sing. And we were so grateful that we could put Silent Night, the version we did at the Opera House all those years ago, uh, before his unfortunate passing, that he's on this record. So it's very, very special. And I'm really, really, really grateful to have him on the record. Growing Up Christmas List is actually one of my favorites on the record. Uh, I think because of the lyrics, the no more lives torn apart, no more wars, no more, it just, it's a, a little bit more of a modern pop uh, song written by, you know, David Foster, one of the greats with, with female artists. You know, I thought I'd do my, a, a bit more of a guitar kind of strip back version, but it builds to the end to be huge. That concept of this is my grown up Christmas list is at the end of the record to symbolize the fact that I've started with the innocence of where I've started with Christmas. And then I guess as, a, as an adult that it's that having different wishes and different wants at different ages. Then the very last song on the record is exactly that lyric. It's saying Merry Christmas to you, sung with the incredible Olivia Newton-John who is, you know, one of my kindreds of this world. And, and it's, I asked her if, if she would be, um, I would be honored, of course, to sing with her on this record and, and being just a phenomenal uh, woman that she is, of course. It's ending with just wishing everybody Merry Christmas and saying, uh, we know it's been a bit of a hard year, but um, 
Like, let's try and eat some more gingerbread and let's try and uh, let's try and find some some joy for another year. From my heart to yours, I really hope that you enjoy this record. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you.